Well, a turnaround for a local food truck owner back on the road after a horrific crash. New tonight at 10, Taylor Lumpkin met up with the owner of Rose Gold's Bistro, grateful to be back doing what he loves. Like in the sun. Five months ago, Brandon Burkett could barely stand longer than a couple of minutes without being in excruciating pain. Shutter sauce. Now he's back in the kitchen doing what he loves most, traveling from place to place in his food truck, serving up some of his favorite foods. I'm happy to be back and serving people and making food that I love. Back in May, Brandon got into a serious car accident. Emergency crews had to use the jaws of life to get him out. I'm still not 100%. The vehicle he was driving that hauled his food truck around was totaled. Brandon spent three days in the hospital with multiple broken bones. A broken clavicle, five ribs, and my right foot. The accident, which left Brandon with limited mobility for months, happened right before the summer season kicked off. A time when food truck owners make most of their income for the year. I stayed on the couch for a good month and a half, uh, almost two months probably. I was planning on making, I mean, probably 80 grand in revenue at least, and that was all gone. But with time, support from his family, and one new truck later, Brandon is back in business, catering to the community once again. I'm happy to be back and serving people and making food that I love. It's kind of like being new again. Like it, it's back to that feeling of uh, nervousness when you when you first do something new. Um, even though I've done it already. Rose Gold's Bistro will be out at the Hounds and Tap Tavern serving food this Saturday from noon until 5 p.m. Yeah. In Menominee Falls, Taylor Lumpkin, TMJ4 News.